Hi, my name is Sylvester Andre Poole III, but everybody calls me Andre. I'm currently in the Digital Cinematography Bachelor's Degree Program here at Full Sail University. The industry professional I chose was Rob McManon. He's a TV news photographer and videographer and has close to 20 years of experience in this field of study. He has worked for several stations and has freelanced in one shape or form for several TV networks and video production companies. He also shoots part-time for the Carolina Panthers during the home games. Our society has become a visual society. We have rapidly become more like a viewer than a reader or a listener. Much of the information and entertainment we consume these days come through visual means. For me, as a TV news photographer, video is the very basis of what I do. In fact, there's an old industry joke that we photogs have when in regards to TV news reporters. Without us, you're radio. A TV news photographer, or OMB, which is a one-man band, which is a reporter that also shoots and edits his own stuff, which is a rapidly growing trend in our industry, is the very backbone of TV news. As a consumer, I think that having imagery instantly available is wonderful. I love being able to access TV shows and movies via Netflix, DVR, YouTube, here at home, on my Kindle, or on my smartphone. Professionally, I'm mixed. I enjoy the growing technology and I'm blown away by the fact that I can pretty much edit an email video back to my station using only a Mac laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. What worries me is that with the technology becoming more consumer friendly, the lines between amateurs and professionals are becoming more and more blurred by the day. Back when I started in the business, it required you having very specialized equipment that was not obtainable, affordable, or easily utilized by just anyone. Now the same laptop that I use to edit much of my video can be purchased by anyone for $2,000 in any Apple store. I just saw the very same camera that the OMBs at my station use being sold on Craigslist for under $5,000. Adding insult to injury, many of the newer cell phones tablets sold these days shoot video comparable if not better than my professional camera which costs thousands of dollars. Nothing is more annoying than showing up for a news story and having to wade through all the amateurs, bloggers, video enthusiasts also there on the scene. Just the other day, I was at a press conference along with several other media outlets, as well as several amateurs and looky-loos. Professionals know the processes and professional courtesies, as well as how certain events and story elements should come together. I had to tell one specific guy two to three times, get out of my shot. I worry that it will only get worse. The popular images I see re-channel is the paparazzi style of shooting video of celebrities simply doing the things that normal people do every day. I don't care to see Beyonce, Jay-Z, or Blue Ivy out taking a walk. I could care less about pictures of Kim Kardashian coming out of Starbucks. I think that our current society has this thirst and hunger to see a media circus hound different people for different things. If someone has committed a crime or is arrested, then yes. I like seeing or shooting perp walks. I have absolutely no need or desire to see a celebrity coming out of a club. This is pretty much the same as what I just mentioned from the previous answer, using the paparazzi style or hounding different or famous people for different things. One of my favorite visual artists is Eric Thompson with the Dream Photography Group. His photography is tantalizing. He's able to achieve telling a great story in one shot. On the other hand, video is one of my favorite visual arts because it's my bread and butter. And I like creating, collecting, editing images and elements together to tell a story. I enjoy the challenge of the creative process. This may sound a little melodramatic, 
but I tend to think of each story that I shoot and edit almost as a mini movie. It doesn't matter what it is. Every story should tell a story. I've been studying some of the works of famous notable still photographers and seeking inspiration for my own still work. I seek out ideas as well as try to take note of such principles as perspective, shot composition, depth of field, etc. I don't seek to copy or mimic their works, but to better understand previously mentioned principles to utilize for future challenges and situations. <laughs>